Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Some big news for those down in Gainesville. As the Florida Gators land a commitment from a 2024 wide receiver in Isaiah Williams, this is a position that we've talked about for the Florida Gators as a little bit of a sore spot, right? Some of the personnel they brought in, you felt good about Xavier Henderson, Justin Shorter, not necessarily panning out. You saw what Billy Napier did in this 2023 class, and we'd both been kind of advocating for how good of that class he put together. Guys like Eugene Wilson, Aiden Mizell, Andy Jean, they've taken a long look at this wide receiver room and have put a lot of effort into building some playmakers around the future Florida Gators quarterback. Now, talking a little Isaiah Williams, going to talk a little bit about what Billy Napier is doing and what direction we think this uh, Florida Gators program is going. Before we do, again, just always want to say thank you to you guys. Again, whether it's 2024 recruiting, transfer portal, summer scouting, you guys are showing a ton of support, especially the Florida Gators fans who have really, I mean, the Gators have been active in the on the recruiting trail. You guys are showing a ton of support, so if you do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Can't thank you guys enough for all the support you guys have shown. Dill, I'm going to kick this one off to you. Isaiah Williams coming to Florida. How are we feeling? I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is you got a guy with the potential to be a bit of a big play guy. I mean, he's already running a four four six according to 27. Yep. And in that, something you, you've just kind of been missing. Like Florida just hasn't generated much explosive in the way of explosive plays besides, frankly, Anthony Richardson just doing kind of hero stuff. And, and that's, I think some that's just been an issue for the program in general is, is the wide receiver production just hasn't been there, especially in terms of, making plays so to get a guy like this i I think this is going to be important moving forward as as they kind of usher in the lagway era yeah and you've seen florida to really go after speed at the wide receiver position like they want it there i think you want to run the football i think you know billy napier especially with their young running backs that they have on the roster right now they're going to want to run the football but having a guy that can take the top off the defense and work the deeper half of the field is something that i think billy napier is taking a look at and you saw in the 2023 class bringing a guy like Eugene Wilson, Aiden Mazzell, who can really cook and burn. Also a guy like Isaiah Williams, that's kind of the direction Florida's been going. And I think not enough people are talking about how good of a class Florida is building. And it gets so much easier when you have that five-star quarterback commit in DJ Lagway in the sense that you want to try to convince other wide receivers to come play with him. Like, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, and that's the thing. They 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 do have that quarterback now. I know right now this year it's very much kind of up in the air, and and I don't think Florida fans would be particularly confident, at least right now. But and the quarterback situation, that's for sure. Future is DJ Lagway. So yes, you have your guy. It's again, I think they're going to play a very young team and, and and try to be ready for the these next couple of years when you got what it looks like a couple of big time classes coming to 23 being really solid and 24 looking like it might even be better. This 20, I mean, you look at who they're going to have on campus in the summer for officials. Like this is a, a very, very strong class. Billy Napier is growing. David Stone going to be on campus this weekend, five-star defense alignment. I think we've been kind of talking about Florida and the future of this program. And we've been reading the message boards, kind of reading, getting a feel for how the fans are thinking here. And I, I'm interested to hear what Florida fans have to say about this, but it does seem like in 2023, you might just have to grind this one out, right? Steady the ship. I don't think Graham Mertz, and I don't, if Graham Mertz is your starting quarterback heading into 2023, I don't think a lot of Florida Gator fans are expecting an SEC championship top, top five team in the country. That being said, if you can kind of just write the ship seven and five, may, may, you know, seven and five season, hold this 2024 class, you get DJ Lagway, kind of the future of this program in there. I think that's when you're looking at the, the really optimistic view for this Florida program. Yeah, and it really doesn't seem to phase anyone now. I mean, again, talk about it. I, I get that, like, the narrative is people are not like I, – I, it seems like the national media is kind of down on Billy Napier and, oh, was he the right hire? It's like, at the end of the day, the recruiting's way up at Florida. Yes. you got to give him his, his shot, like, the next two, three, four years or so and let him see what he can do. But you haven't recruited like this at Florida in a, in a long time. And Dan Mullen just didn't even try that yeah, sometimes. Yeah. And, and, and here's the opposite. So yeah, and I, I, I we kind of talked about this when we talked about the RJ Moen commitment. One, this is a really young roster. I think I was looking at the scholarship um, distribution. I think there's only six seniors on scholarship. Like this is a, a very young roster that I, I think it's fair to expect some growing pains with this young group. But you got a bunch of guys that you feel really. Like Will Norman looked awesome during the spring game. Kelby Collins. You have some really young players that I think are going to play a lot as young cats. Maybe it's a tough like in. I think when Billy Napier took this job, I don't think enough people gave enough 
credit to how how poor of a job Dan Mullen did organizing this roster. I mean, this was not a very a program in a very good spot when Billy Napier came in. I think you you kind of expect some growing pains, but in the 2024 2025 season with Billy Napier's guys, I really do think and kind of expect that that's when you're going to see Florida kind of hit the ground running and kind of get back to the form that a lot of Florida Gator, Florida Gator fans are, are used to. Yeah, and that's certainly what the expectation is. Again, I think they're doing what they need to do right now. I am going to be interested to see if like how good these young guys look and if they come yes. along and if they can make improvements over the course of the year. Because at the end of the day, that's going to be really important too. I mean, it's you, you just can't come in and build it recruiting-wise and then not, not do a good enough job managing the on-field talent and bringing guys along. So I think this year will be important to, to kind of evaluate what Billy Napier is doing in terms of – bringing guys along like again you can have all the talent but you still need to coach you can't you can't just always be like kind of what mario cristobal felt like a little bit at oregon where yes he has to get a super high level but they never could go out there and beat utah consistently or beat washington consistently it did always seem like mario cristobal's tenure and you see some coaches that they make their money acquiring talent and then just kind of fall a little bit short of developing that talent I, I'm I am with you. Like seeing Billy, and I think it's going to be a really good opportunity to develop that talent because what's the best way you can develop young talent? Give them playing time. And this Florida Gators team is going to be a very very young team in 2023, and you're going to see a lot of these young guys who have multiple years of eligibility that you're going to be able to build this program around, get it off the ground again, uh, playing significant reps. And I think that is kind of how you start with building this talent. And I want to do. Just take a little bit of a look at this 2024 class and who we might see coming in, right? You have DJ Lagway, who, I mean, 24-7 is very, very high on him. He's a, maybe a little bit of a raw guy, but a rocket arm. Xavier Philsam coming in. You have five or four guys in the top 50 nationally on the recruiting trail. You bring in a guy like Isaiah Williams, who you beat Alabama, you beat Florida State out for. Like, I, I don't think it's crazy that you have Florida put together a very, very good 2023 class and then potentially – a top five 2024 class. And that'll be the thing. It's like right now, I I guess the ranking maybe isn't quite there because it's a little bit small, but like you, you, if they keep on the pace of getting the level of guy they're getting, it's going to be a really good class. And even if it is a little small, I mean, that is what it is, but you're getting a lot. I don't think it's going to be small though. I mean, you, you see the talent. I'm looking at the, the visitors that Florida has coming in the summer. Like it is, it's loaded and expect this list to grow. It's small right now in terms of commitments. I don't think you're that down on, the traction Billy Napier and the Florida Gators fans are are feeling on the recruiting trail because you have a lot of talented guys taking a lot of visits and getting on campus a lot down there in Gainesville. And that's obviously where it starts. And again, I I just at the end of the day I think people are are they overreacted to what happened with Jaden Rashada and Cormani McLean. Like totally I, agree. Get those, I get those are disappointing situations, but Every team, when you're battling at that level, it just it's part of, especially the new age of college recruiting. So, if you take a step back and see if you kind of exclude those two snafus, and I, I don't get the sense that was totally Billy Napier's fault or, or, or anyone's fault. It is what it is. It's just part of recruiting. You look at it; he's been doing a really good job beating guy beating teams like Alabama and, and Florida State and Miami for for the recruits he needs to win. Yeah, uh, I, again, we we've been kind of defenders of Billy Napier. And I'm not, I'm not ready to say he's a phenomenal hire yet. He still needs to win football games. That being said, I think people are way too low on Billy Napier and his ability to kind of get this Florida Gators team back to being a top eight team, kind of where they belong. Now, want to leave our thoughts on that again. It's going to be a busy summer for the Florida Gators on the recruiting trail. So again, subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy the content. We appreciate you guys checking us out, supporting the fellas, and we'll talk to y'all later. Peace.